Hi, my name is Austin Buckman from the Inspire Coaches. Monday, Wednesday, 9 a.m. business communications class. I'm doing my presentation on New York Life Insurance. All right, so today's agenda, we're going to talk about the introduction, how we're going to work through the background. Then we're going to talk about services, working in the financials. We're going to talk about the work environment, what it's like to be part of the New York Life Insurance family, impactful factors over the last five years, and then we're going to talk about the future of New York Life, and finally, we're going to end it with some questions. All right, introduction. Uh, New York Life Insurance is the largest mutual insurance company in the United States. Uh, they're ranked number 61 on the Fortune 500. And they've become a powerful enterprise with great financials, ethics, and standards to back that up. All right, a little background on them. New York Life Insurance was founded in 1845 with $17,000 in assets. Their headquarters are located on Wall Street in uh, New York, and this is actually the building right here. And since day one, they, they strive to be a, a business that reflected the community and was a part of the community. And that was really the birth of their success there. All right, now we're going to talk about what services they offer. First, we're going to talk about term life insurance. It's the simplest way to provide for your loved ones in, in the event of a death. And that's for a set period of time, 10, 15, 20 years usually. Um, next, we're going to talk about whole life insurance, which is guaranteed lifelong protection. This guarantees you lifelong and also builds cash annually. So that gets compounded annually, so you end up earning money on that one. Now we're going to talk about annuities, which is kind of an alternative to a savings on, like, from a bank account. And that helps you grow your savings over time and generate a uh, source of income. That annuities has taken up 52% of New York Life's market share. So 52% of the annuity, I mean, no, 52% of the annuities sold in the market were from New York Life Insurance. Additionally, on here, we have mutual funds, which is a mix of stocks and bonds that uh, help diversify an investment portfolio to minimize ri risk and maximize efficiencies. And down here, I know it's hard to read, but we got a number one provider of income annuity since 2008. So that's just kind of a very strong point of the services offered. Next, we're going to talk about the financials. Uh, last fiscal year, uh, New York Life Insurance did $45,891 million in revenue, $257 million in profits, $271,668 million in assets. And if you take a closer look at that, last fi the fiscal year before this one, it's an 18.6% increase from the last fiscal year. And the last year before this one was also a record-setting year. This, this year was also a new record-setting year, so they're on a very well trend. Um, in addition to being uh, breaking records, uh, New York Life also increased dividend payoff to their clients by 37%, from $1.7 billion to $9.8 billion in just three years. Uh, lastly, New York Life Insurance has also been awarded as one of the most sound financial companies by all four of the major credit rating associations, and because of that, it shows that they're 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 here to stay. All right, so the work environment in New York Life, it's a it's a very they 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 received many awards obviously, but uh, they received award for most diverse staff. Um, they were recognized as the top employer of women executives. They were also, in a personal aspect, as an employee, they help build success through in-depth training. They don't, they don't just train you and hope that you know what you're doing. They will train you, make sure you know what you're doing, and then put you out for success. Um, in addition to that, they, all, they, they were also ranked fourth on Forbes' list of most admired companies. And that's just, all these really just show that New York Life is really a company that reflects its community. As our community is changing, so is New York Life, representing everybody in our community, and it's changing. All right, some impactful factors here. Um, the addition of Ted Mathis, right here, uh, CEO in 2008. He, impl he implemented a multi-boutique approach and minimized risk, which obviously for an investment in life insurance company, that's going to, Boost sales and everything. And then we got John T. Florent, uh, 
CFO, Chief Financial, Chief Financial Officer, who's been a strong leader for the employees and showing them smart investment strategies, and he's been a very active philanthropist, giving back to the community and donating. Um, and then also, a very important factor here, the New York Life Insurance recently started using a cloud-based program called Workavia to maximize their efficiencies and minimize their risks. It's a cloud-based program that really speeds up the process and kind of revolutionizes the financial industry. All right, so what does the future look like for New York Life? Well, since nobody can tell the future, nobody really knows, but based on their past financial history, which we, we went over and looks great, their equality and diversity within the workplace, and their effective technology and leadership, it looks like New York Life Insurance is gonna be here to stay for a long time. And then finally, any questions? Would you consider buying in life insurance with New York Mutual Insurance? Yes, I would. And one reason why is because they're so reputable with their uh, clients. And the dividend payoff with with that is something important that comes back to the client as a form of revenue. So I, I really would. I would personally, I would love to work for New York Life. I'd like to be a part of their, their environment. 